Well, Father George is the regional superior of the Pontifical Institute for Foreign Mission in the United States. He joins us to talk about his missionary work. Uh, Father, thanks so much for being with us via Skype, all the way from the great city of Detroit. How are you today? Good. First well, of all, I want to congratulate uh, the director, Bishop Alec Breed, for his services and uh, thank God for uh, this wonderful gift to the uh, diocese uh, for his service as bishop now. Well, I know he'll very much appreciate that, and that's very kind of you. Hey, well, tell us, Father, about the Pontifical Institute for Foreign Missions. Uh, of course. Uh, we call it, uh, our institute in the U.S. as PIME Missionaries. PIME stands, for, of course, for a Pontifical Institute for Foreign Missions, and uh, our main charism is to go to the non-Christian world and uh, uh, make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So going to the non-Christian world, we uh, found churches or dioceses where they are not present. Could you give us uh, an example, Father George, of some of the places where, where you go, where you serve? Uh, this institute was founded in 1850, and first mission was uh, in Papua New Guinea, and then we started in Asia, especially in India. And one state was uh, given to prime missionaries by Pope, so the whole state was developed into so many dioceses. Now there are 14 dioceses in that state. Wow. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved, Father? I'm going to guess that you're not from Detroit. That's yeah. just a guess on yeah. my part. How did you get involved? I am originally from India and uh, from the state of Kerala. And some traditional uh, Christians were selected to come to the U.S. Uh, Pime region to be seminarians and formed as Pime missionaries. And one of them was from my own parish. And so I got to know about the Pine missionaries to be the, and he told me the real missionaries are Pine missionaries. So I wanted to know about that. And thus I joined the Pine and I became Pine missionary. And I was sent to Africa. Mm. And I know you're, you're based in, in Detroit um, too, but uh, talk about that too. What, what, what's, uh, what's it like having the home base there in Detroit? And, uh, and what might be a typical day for, for you there uh, at the yeah. headquarters? The Cardinal Mooney, uh, he invited us to come to the U.S. in 1947, and we came here, from, and we are present here from 1947. And here, this is the headquarters. I was actually sent from Cameroon to the U.S. to take over the mission center. We have in our headquarters also the mission center to uh, support all our missionaries around the globe, especially in the developing countries. So through the Mission Center, we uh, raise funds and we help them to proclaim the gospel through the works of charity, to share the God's love and care to others. Tell them that God is Father, of course, by fathering them. Mm -hmm. So that is our mission. And in the Mission Center, this is to coordinate the fundraising and also the mission awareness in the U.S., mm -hmm. that the church is in its very essentiality, it is a missionary church. Mm -hmm. So it is not only for some other, only for the missionaries, but for each and every Christian to feel that he is a missionary. Is it, what is it like? Is it challenging in today's world to be out there as a missionary father? It is, it depends on where you are sent. Of course, we go to the uh, non-Christian world, and I usually say pi missionaries are a special race of people who go where others don't go. Mm -hmm. And I was in the far north region of Cameroon in the Savannah Desert. And there it is very difficult, you know, to tell people who God is, where people believe people don't see their father's face, mm -hmm. their own father's face. The children don't look at their father's face. And there we go and say, God is father. And so we have to show them how God is father. I know you have a lot of networks here in, in the United States too. Actually, my, uh, my daughter was a representative for the Missionary Childhood Association at her school. But talk about the support uh, here in the United States uh, for the missionary work and how important that is. We started also so many seminaries and we had seven seminaries and now at least 40 Americans became members of our institute. And currently we have seven missionaries working in the foreign countries from America. 
the last ordination was in 1998, uh, and we are still looking for other young people dedicated to go to the mission field. Mm -hmm. And through these uh, different seminaries and activities, we have a lot of connections with uh, people wherever we were present, and they are still supporting us to help these missions uh, to do something, uh, founding hospitals, clinics, and uh, the education of children and things like that. So they support us also through uh, the financial uh, support. Where can people learn more about your wonderful work, Father George? We publish a bi-monthly magazine that is called Mission World. And then we are on the website. Our website is a little outdated and we are updating it in the fall. It will be all right. And we are present also on the social media like Facebook and the Twitter and the WordPress, uh, you know, uh, those ways. Very and good. another way is to contact us over telephone, you know, 313-342-4066. Very good. PimeUSA.org. So, thank you so much for being with us thank today, you, Father. Father. You have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for this occasion to meet you all. And thank you for everything that you are doing in evangelizing the U.S. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.